यह वीडियो भी काल्पनिक है पिछले वाले की तरह यह भी इमेजिनेशन में देखिए इसे कृपया करके दिल पे ना लीजिए कहीं और लीजिए और फिर भी ऑफेंड हो गए तो स्टार्ट से डिस्क्लेमर वापस देखिए थैंक यू Okay okay yeah as you know I like to troll sometime either way I want to say a big thank you to everyone who watches the videos and support the channel on the recent post I was able to receive lots of great feedback from you uh, first thing first was to simply increase the volume that's an easy fix as you can see in the recent videos the volume are way higher which is good I think then we have to add time stamps I mean that's a very good one is going to make your life much easier so why not and uh, finally we have please post more content um okay mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah i will try mm -hmm. so today is sunday and um as you know on sunday we do uh, weird videos so let's react to a few comments it's going to be funny interesting and very interesting Well, the first one is a very interesting comment uh, made by Rizvi. He wanted to know what's the use of learning O level and A level math. Is it just for teaching? I'm happy that we still have uh, students like him who thinks. I was the same once when I was uh, studying biology. I was thinking, why am I even learning about plants? Uh, some membrane and even mitochondria. Like, come on, I don't need to know that. Well, I get it. There are many things that you learn right now that doesn't make sense. But trust me, trust me, eventually it will. Now, as for math, everything that we have right now involves math. The TV you watch, the phone you have, the laptop you have, the shoes you wear involves math. But let's right now keep it very simple. So, at this stage, you can start to think about math in this way. So basically in life we are always trying to solve for x. x maybe to become an engineer or to become a doctor or to lose weight or to make money it could be anything. So you can replace x with anything. We are always trying to solve for x. Math is mainly right now is for critical thinking and finding solutions for your issue. And this is exactly the reason why math is always taught at any school everyone has to learn math to develop their problem solving skills and now okay okay let's stop with the serious stuff let's move on to a more fun side of this video let's react to a few funny comments you are so good i love you please marry me what the f man <laughs> I love you, baby. Wait, what? <laughs> Man, it's getting hot in here. You I hope you don't mind I take um button a couple buttons here. But Nan is another person who makes me laugh all the time. For example, here Amiyo Kushi Hoesi Bai and please talk in English so sir can understand. <laughs> also here we have Buske Se and then Nafiz Mudari? What does that mean? Then we have what the f Butnan and Butnan says hello. <laughs> This one is my fave. Why are you taking a piss? There's no question 27. Oh shit. Here we go again. The answer is a 9, it's 11. There's a squaring issue. Are you sure? Please read the comments. Yes, 100% sure. Are you sure about that? Now check MS. The answer is 9. I don't want to, but even then your solution is wrong. Your solution is wrong. The square of minus 1 is plus 1, obviously. Plus can you do a back to basics blah blah blah. If you need help with editing just let me know. Well, that's nice. Um okay so how comes the answer is 9 can you explain lol if you don't know why 
that is okay, you know, that is okay. I have explained in the comments below, you are actually missing something from the explanation. So as you can see here in the comments, uh, I have received the same question. How is minus 1 square equal to minus 1? Isn't that supposed to be equal to 1? Uh, yes, um, the minus sign is actually outside of the x square. It is actually minus inside 1 square, which is minus 1. So yeah, it is in the comments. Mm, so I don't know what you're finding so hard to understand. The square of minus 1 is plus 1. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, of course it is. It is incorrect in your explanation, okay? Anyways, uh, you are right, and the answer should be 11, even though the answer is 9. But uh, seriously, uh, the answer is 9. If you can't understand, let me know, you know? Why you gotta be like that? Sure, man. Next time, just explain with context. We watch the video because it's not explained properly. So you see in the comments. Man, the point is you have to be more humble. By being more humble, I would want to help you. Hi bye commented. Hi, F you first of all. <laughs> you did question 7 wrong. It's supposed to be minus 21. How the F did you get 24? I'm so upset. I have an exam after 2 hours and I relied on you. But you are a piece of shh. Who relies on you? Well, let's first address the comment. Okay, so let's see my answer for that question. Wait, what? It was minus 21? Okay. <laughs> well, first thing I want to understand, why are you memorizing answers for your exam? Like, this is math, you know? You're supposed to understand how to do the questions so you can do any questions that is being given to you. And finally, let's move on to the most important part of the video. I am going to give you the most important lesson of your life. If you truly, I mean truly, are able to understand this right now, only then you can increase your chances of becoming successful. This lesson revolves around this question. Who is responsible for your education? Let's do better. Who is truly responsible for your education? Your parents? Your teachers? Your school? Me? Let's do even better. Who is truly responsible for your life? It is you. You have to stop with a victim mentality. Do not give your power and potential away to anybody. You are the master of your universe and destiny. So from today, stop making any excuses and start taking responsibility in your life. And with that being said, I wish you guys all the best for your exams.